Still waiting. Hello my lovely babies. Today's video is all about the Neo. So this is the Neo by MIG Vapor. It's a complete kit. I'll go ahead and show you. It comes in green or purple. Oh, isn't it so cute? Here is the first drawer that has the tank in it. The tank comes with O-rings to match. It comes with black ones installed. But there is the tank. And also the charging cord and the extra coil. And the top drawer has the actual device in it. Ooh, isn't that cool? I'm giving away actually a purple one in my 75,000 subscriber giveaway. So here is the device. Here is the 510 connection. It has a single fire button, charge port on the bottom. Isn't that nice? This is a 100 watt device and it is self adjusting. It has an internal double cell battery at 4,500 milliamps an hour. The tank is a four mil capacity with a top fill option. It has this airflow at the bottom, which is a unique airflow. Here is the logo, MIG Vapor. And it comes with a 0.4 canthal coil or a 0.2 nickel 200 coil. And this is what the beefy coils look like. So since it's self-adjusting, it also recognizes when it is a TC coil for the nickel coil or a regular coil for the canthal coil. But here is the whole setup put together and I really like it. I love this drip tip and it looks like there is airflow on the drip tip as well. I'm not sure if it's adjustable. Oh, it is. It is adjustable airflow on the drip tip and it's removable if for some reason you want to use your own, but this is a pretty wide bore drip tip and I really like it. It's really short and wide bore. Airflow on the base is also adjustable. So you can have whatever, how many chambers you want open. And here is the top, the drip tip airflow and it's adjustable. You can see there is little holes here to align up for the, if you want more airflow up here, but I'm really liking this. And if I put in the green O-rings, it would really match. So this kit is going to run you $149.95. It's actually on sale, so it's usually more than that. But I'm gonna go ahead and fill up this tank and come back and vape it for you guys. I don't know if you can see it, but on the fire button, there's a little logo and one, two, three, four, five, turns it on and it's a bright green, pretty color to match this. I wonder if the purple one lights up purple. That would be totally cool. The tank top just spins off like so, and there is a fill slot right there. And I filled it up with some Rusty Nails by Rasta Vapor, which is one of the e-liquids that made it into my best of 2015. It's so freaking good. It's a marshmallow and butterscotch vanilla cream vape. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this wick up for a good minute and come back and vape it for you guys, but I'm really liking the look of this. Already, just by the look of it, I feel like I wanna do a one month update on it because it is new and it's very stylish in my opinion, very pleasing to the eye. So let me know down in the comments below if you guys want to see a one month update for this setup. So this can handle down to 0.1 ohms. Right now I have the airflow base wide open, but the drip tip airflow closed off because in my experience, drip tip airflow is just like a little too much airflow for me, but we'll just give it a try on both settings to see how it goes. So let's have a vape. Good vapor production so far, and I noticed that it starts up right away, so there's no delay in the vape at all. Great vapor production, great cloud production from this with little like effort. Like I said, there was no like waiting for it to kick up. I do feel like this airflow base has a lot of airflow. So I'm gonna go ahead and half it and see how that is. Wow, so I don't know if you guys could hear that, but when I put it on halfway airflow, kind of made it a lot louder, which is just just a, a an observation of mine. But let's try it back at the open airflow because that was that was just a little too much airflow cutoff for my personal vaping style. Clouds, bitch. One thing I am noticing right away: this is super light. This is like in those commercials with the Three Musketeers bar and they just like float away if somebody opens their purse they just like float out. This is super freaking light for a 4,500 milliamp hour battery and that is going to last you days of vaping. The button here is easily pressed, very clicky and I like that. It is um, 
Can you hear it? It is rattly, but I feel like because they do that on the new iPhones too. I feel like that is to preserve the button clicking lifespan of the button. Because if, if the button was harder to press, there's more like in the future a risk of having it stuck or get stuck. Because I've had that happen on uh, uh, electronic devices of where buttons are, you know, you have to push a lot harder. I'm really digging this tank though. I don't know why. I just love the short little fat drip tip. I really want to put the green o-rings on and also the, I don't know if I showed this earlier, but the, it is top filling. So the little ledge of the top of it has little grips on either side, which will make it super easy for removing to fill again. The juice flow holes on the coil are pretty small. I would like to see maybe bigger juice flow holes on the coil, but there's, there's two pretty small ones and there's four around the whole thing. And I'll go ahead and show you a close up so you can see what I'm saying. See, there is two small juice flow holes, but there is four all the way around. And there's where, this is the nickel coil, by the way. And that's the cotton in there. So I would like to see bigger juice flow holes. I find myself favoring coils that come with a larger juice flow hole. I do like mods that are self-adjusting only because you don't ever have to worry about adjusting and regulating and finding the right spot or accidentally adjusting while you're vaping and then like getting because I noticed with the with one of the what TC device was it might be the iStick TC device that it was really easy to change from TC to regular mode and that can be dangerous because you don't want to vape a regular coil in TC and you don't want to vape a TC coil in regular mode so I like that this is self-adjusting and that it can recognize the different coils as well as self-adjusting with the wattage output. But yeah, I'm really liking this and I would really love to show you guys a one month update for this kit, this entire setup. So if you want to see a one month update for it, let me know. I could do a one month update on just the tank or just the mod or the whole thing, depending on what you guys want to see. Again, it really depends on how highly requested the one month update is. If I do it, I can tell you that I will probably be using this anyway after this video, even if I'm not doing a one month update, just because it's... I like the look of it so much and I like the airflow, I like the flavor, and I just, I like the tank. If anything, I would continue to use this tank for sure. I love it. I just like the look of it and it's performing great for my first look review. The wide board drip tip is bringing me back to the days of like the Atlantis when that first started coming out and everyone was like, holy crap, that's a huge board drip tip. I will put a link below where you can check this out for yourself. But that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more reviews. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram or Twitter or Facebook. I also have a second YouTube channel where I like to upload completely random videos of whatever I feel like so if you want to see more of me that's not vaping related you can check out that channel all those links will be below and one more thing before you go if vaping is something you're passionate about please consider joining kasa.org and fight for your right to vape so as always I'm Tia Vapes and thank you so much for watching I just love the look of this like this tank is just so I don't know what it is about it I just love it